Right, so good morning. Welcome back to the channel. It was a really early start for us this morning, but we're down at the Haynes Car Museum for the uh, breakfast meet, I think they call it. Um, I think we got here just in time. Everyone's starting to roll in. It's a bit blowy, but the weather's hopefully going to be okay. It's going to stay dry, so let's go check it out and see what we can see. Right, so check out the colour combination on this Noble M12. Really bright green with the gold wheels with the red center caps, that's a really brave spec, but that looks really cool. This little mini looks like it'd be a great fun, check that out. Bonnets in the front. That would be a hoot to drive. I bet that shows you sometimes you don't need like ridiculous horsepower. You just need like a light little car like that. I bet that'd be great fun to drive. Talking about cars that'd be fun to drive, check out the V8 Aerial Atom. These things are ridiculous. So I think this is a three litre V8, 500 brake horsepower, then they only weigh about 550 kilograms. So naught to 60 in about 2.4 seconds, I think these are. These would be uh, a crazy thing to drive, not on a wet day like today. And then, I've never had a go, but would love to have a go in one of these. They call it, what are these, the Nomad? Imagine uh, bashing some dunes or some dirt roads or something with that. That thing is ridiculous. Don't know the specs on these. I don't know if it's similar engine, but it's literally scaffolding with an engine on the back. That is so cool. Whoa. Right, we're definitely braving the elements. It is very blowy. It's very blowy and a bit rainy now, so. But there's a, there's a lot of cars here. We're gonna skip past some of the older stuff and just focus on like the supercars, hypercars, stuff that interests us, but hopefully we don't get blown away. Right, a couple of really nice Aston Martins over here. I really like the color on this DB11, that is lovely. And then as Grand Tourers go, I've always fancied one of these DB9, lovely color as well, really like them. I've lost my little car spot, let's go and find her. There she is, my little car spotter. Let's go and spot some cars with her. What are you spotting, Meg? Nice ones. Nice Cali T. I really like the spec on that R35 GTR. What are they? Volk T37s on the silver paintwork. That looks really nice and clean. Nice V8 Vantage. Ah, oh, Escort Cosworth. Oh, I love the uh, Martini livery on the MX5. Talking about GTRs, I love the spec on that R32, that's so clean. You check out the bright R33 GTR. I think that's got the Duluc body kit on it, but that is bright. Little Triumph Sprint, that's cool. That's a really clean A45, that looks really nice. Really nice spec on a Performante. Love the orange and the bronze wheels, that looks really nice. The whale tail, such an iconic shape. Another Noble M12 GTO. That's a really nice colour as well. I'm still curious and really want to go in one of these uh, GR Yaris's. I bet they are so much fun to drive. I mean, that's uh, that's quite big for a UK road, but cool, very cool. Oh, fellow Tesla Model 3 owner letting the side down. Really nice Aston Martin. That's the uh, F1 edition. That's really nice. That looks just like the safety car, F1 safety car. Right, so I think this is the first little car park. Uh, loads of cool cars, much older cars. A couple of, a couple of aerial atoms over there, a couple of Aston Martins. So there's a few over here. And then I think on the other side over there, I think there's a much bigger car park. So we'll go and check that out in a bit. Another really nice Noble M12 GTO. Really like the color and spec on this one as well. That's lovely. Again, that is a car that I need to get behind the wheel of. But that's such a great fun car to drive. Right, you can tell this is a petrol heads kind of car show. Two full on driver's cars. Imagine driving these down this morning in the cold, blowy, wintry day. Yeah, I think the TVR owners club has just turned up. Absolutely loads. They're all pulling in now. There's loads queuing up to come in. You can't deny a TVR does sound good. Check out this Cadillac, is it? It's definitely not in the best condition, but really cool. Almost like um, almost like a rat rod kind of style. But then the most worrying thing is, check out the back. A couple of shotgun cartridges just in the back. Right, this is definitely down my street. I really like the spec on this 720S. I love the grey. I don't know the uh, paint code, but I think the grey 
And then if you can see on camera, all these red details really show off the body lines of the car. Yeah, so the gray, got the red like accent down there, and then it kind of goes over the shoulder of the car, this red pinstripe, that looks so nice. And then the matte black wheels with the red calipers. And then I don't know if you can see inside, got like red accents on the seats and things. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice spec. Right, most cars, you don't start videoing from the back, but the Sierra RS Cosworth, from the back with that rear wing, is so iconic. <laughs> right, this was the R33 we saw when we pulled in. Super bright. Looks really cool on a dark damn day like today. Right, I'm probably butchering the pronunciation, but I think this is the Maserati Modena, which I think is the first time I've ever seen one. And I like the color on this, really metallic-y, pearlescent. Don't know if the camera's doing that justice, but that looks really nice, but uh, yeah, that's a nice looking car. Right, I get told off for saying the word spec too much, but check out the spec on this, really nice deep blue. And then with cream leather interior, that's a colour combination that always goes well. That's really nice, I like that. Right, the Alpha 4C for me is such a pretty car. And I'll be honest, you don't really don't see many in black. They're usually in red, but uh, this one, whoever owns this, he's put all the carbon fibre on it. Carbon fibre around the grille, the front splitter, the little bits there around the headlight, the mirrors, and he's added these little side skirt flicks at the side. Uh, all across the roof and the back and everything, but it makes the car look a lot lower as well. Such a nice looking car. I think black really suits it as well. I like the number plate as well. Alpha. Check out these two BMW estates, both on air ride. So low, this one is super clean though. Look at the fitment of that. That is literally touching the rim and then you got a half cage in the back some nice bright bucket seats super clean really really nice I like that black on black on black on black with the yellow headlights that looks so menacing that looks pretty cool I like that right I'm not sure what you call that color on this M3 competition but the blue with the matte black wheels and then I don't know if you can see the suede orange interior with the black carbon fiber that actually looks really cool that's a brave spec whoever done it but that definitely works that's a really nice beetle super super clean and like me and my daughter just said we really like the color on that it looks really nice right in the comments let me know what is that a sonic really don't know what that is that's an mk i know mk sports cars and i think that is a catrum they're having a great time, aren't they? That's a really nice 993 as well with the bronze wheels. A bit of an unusual look, but definitely suits it. Looks really cool. Is everyone starting to leave now? Guards red on that. Four litre. Really nice. Four litre GT3 in guards red. And then a lovely GT4 RS. I really liked these when these come out in pictures and I think I like them even more now I see them in person. We saw a white one the other weekend at Podium Place, but I think if you had one of these F1 limited edition Vantages, you'd have to have it in this green. As you drive around, you could pretend that you were the F1 safety car, but they look so cool. The matte green with the silver stripe and then I really like the fluorescent brake calipers. And then it's got the matching fluorescent stripe down the middle. Looks so cool. And then the back, such an aggressive looking car. Really, really, really like that. Right, this is another car I'm looking at. Really like the R35 GTR. I think this is the older spec with the newer spec front bumper, but the color, and I really like the uh, Volk Racing T37s. They always look cool. And I'm guessing this has been to Litchfield for some tuning, got some Litchfield big brake kit on it. But uh, yeah, that looks really nice. The price of these is really coming down now. And obviously, as you know, the tuning potential of an R35 is unlimited. You could do so much with these. These push like a thousand brake horsepower. So uh, that looks really nice. Yeah, Litchfield LM20. I don't know if that's a spec. So I don't know if that's had a particular tune on it. So what would you take? The R35 or 32? 
think I'd have to go for the 35, but both similar specs, or colors, they both look really cool. Money no object, I'll put both in my garage. Really like the spec on this Huracan Performante. We've seen some yellow ones the last couple of weeks, but this orange with the bronze wheels looks so nice. Well, we just saw that R32 GTR, but the prices of them going up, this is a good option. You get yourself a like a GTST, put a uh, bolt on, wide arch kit on it. It uh, looks pretty cool, not as powerful, but you get the similar look and you can probably push some power out of these, but an R32 GTST, that looks pretty cool. Right, this is definitely a bit of me as well. Someone in the comments tell me the paint code on this, so nice, even on this overcast day, that looks so nice. Yeah, that A12. I think that's the car of the show for me so far. Super, super nice. Here she is. You not been blown away yet? <laughs> Here goes the two GTRs. There's the R32 and the R35. Lovely color and spec on that M4. Super cool. <laughs> At least the sun's come out now for the aerial album, guys. It's TVR 350i. Looks super cool in yellow. Cars always look cool, but they look much better rolling. Like this Aston Martin F1 Vantage. That looks so, so cool. Right, that's it. The wind has not died down, but I think we're pretty much done. I got myself a tea to warm up. Uh, really cool car show though. If you have I've never been to this breakfast one before, but I started at eight and by half past eight, the car park was absolutely rammed. A good few hundred cars in here. And what's the time now? Half past 10? So everyone started rolling out at the same time. So it must be like 10, half 10, it finishes. So it's definitely just a breakfast meet if you ever come here. So but really cool, such an eclectic mix of cars. But luckily we've booked tickets to go and look inside the actual museum. So we're gonna make a separate video on that. So make sure you check that out. But hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.